Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by KitchenAid for the way it's made. See what's cooking at KitchenAid. I like seeing Sadie's of New Mexico in my old neighborhood up in the Northeast Heights. That's where I grew up. Yeah, um, we have a new location up there. It's on uh, Eubank and I-40. It's connected to the Ramada uh, Hotel. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually been open for a few years, but uh, you know, um, our Heights clientele loves it. They love that they can uh, have a Sadie's right in their own neighborhood. It's yep. a great thing. And I didn't introduce you yet. This is my guest, Brian. He's with Sadie's of New Mexico, if you haven't guessed already. And Brian, for those people that haven't noticed yet, there's a very large hunk of meat right here in front of you. What are you making for us today? Yeah, this is a this is a beef brisket, and um, we uh, have recently added an, uh, a few new menu items uh, to our menu, which we don't do very often at Sadie's. But we were getting a lot of requests for this. It was shredded beef, you know, for your tacos and your burritos and enchiladas. So we do a shredded beef brisket. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how we actually do this in the restaurant. This, this particular cut of brisket is a choice deli trim brisket. And it's in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the largest one, right? <laughs> is that right? Actually, Am I Ginger, making that up? there are bigger ones than this. Oh. Yeah, this is not considered a whole brisket. This is, a, this is actually a trim brisket. It still has a nice wow. piece of fat <laughs> cap on it which is what you want. Um, uh, you don't want to remove too much of that fat. Maybe after it's cooked, you can take a little bit off. Well, I think this KitchenAid kitchen that we're in can handle cooking this uh, brisket. And we are at Builder Source Appliance Gallery in Albuquerque. Um, so show me what we do. What's the, what do we, how do we get started? Okay, let's get started. It's, it's okay. a real simple application, like I was saying, Ginger. We're gonna, we're just gonna season a nice, generous season of garlic salt. Garlic salt, okay. Oh, and this okay. recipe can be found on southwesthotchefs.com. Yes, it can. And this meal can be found in Sadie's of New Mexico if you don't uh, want That's to tackle right. a big, big piece of uh, meat like this, a brisket. So we're going to go ahead and season both sides. Okay. Okay. I'll let you, since I just touched it, I'm going to let you get that side All with All the, right, then. Slide on over, big guy. Garlic <laughs> salt. Nice, generous amount. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yeah. Big portions. Sadie's of New Mexico always has big portions. Yeah, we're known for our big portions, and you know that's what our customers love. And you run through the to-go boxes. Yeah, you hand them our, out like left and right. Every meal, you might as well just here's your to-go box because you'll never finish it. Well, you know it makes a great meal. Midnight snack is what I always say, or the next morning, good hangover food. Either way, <laughs> either way. We're good yeah. for sharing. It's Later, great for sharing. You can take it by a friend's house and say, here, look what I have. Gotcha. Sorry, half of it's gone, but uh, yeah. There you go. You heat up those leftovers the next morning, fry an egg, and throw it on top, and you've got a great breakfast. Salt and peppering okay. as a skill is underrated. I have to say. You look like an old pro at that. Look at that. Okay. What Beautiful. Next? Okay. Now you always want to cook it, the brisket, with the with the fat cap up, so the fat when it cooks, it kind of melts and renders down into the. Okay. Good tip. Into the meat. Right on. Okay. okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this. Uh, actually, we're gonna add, you wanna add some water to this. Adds a little bit of moisture and a little bit of steam. You can see it in the recipe on uh, Southwest Hot Chefs that you wanna bring up the water about halfway up the side of the brisket. Okay. That's about nice. good right there. Nice. Now what we've done is, um, we've preheated our oven to 360 degrees. Okay. We're gonna cover this with foil, just like this. Seal it up. Seal it up real good. So we're gonna pop this in. Freakishly strong. Okay. And then we've got one down here that's that's already been cooking. Isn't that fun? That's the best part about doing a cooking show, the no, no waiting thing. Yeah. Kind of fun for me. That's called the magic of television. Yes. That cooked for four and a half to five hours. So if you don't have four and a half or five hours, go on into Sadie's of New Mexico, Sadie's of New Mexico and order. We'll do it for you. Brisket. All right, let's take a look at this okay. bad boy. Now we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Very hot, so you oh, wanna be careful. Wow. You see all that steam coming off? That smells amazing. Oh my goodness. Brian? Doesn't wow. that smell delicious? Yes, it does. And you can see that this brisket was the same size as the one that we put in, and you can see how much it's Ooh. rendered down over the four and a half to five hours. Right on. And also, you can also see the very nice broth and yeah. juice that it made. 
we're gonna use that broth. We're gonna actually have the meat sitting in that broth and use it when we go. Yeah, I don't wanna waste that. To build our, right to build our dish. We're gonna make a shredded beef brisket burrito okay. out, of, out of this uh, brisket. And I guess we're gonna do that when we come back. Yep, we'll take a little break and uh, we'll get that going. And when you rejoin us, we're gonna put this brisket in a yummy burrito. We'll see you in a few minutes. I've been eating at Sadie's for 48 years and it just gets better and better. 